Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I will be discussing about a recent book release by the name Lasers in Proctology. Now to talk us in detail about this book, we have on board with us here Dr. Kamal Gupta who is the author of the book which has been published by Springer. This is the first reference book on the subject Lasers in Proctology internationally. Dr. Kamal Gupta is the consultant surgeon and laser proctologist. He has trained more than 400 surgeons across India and abroad in laser proctology and has delivered numerous oral presentations. He has even demonstrated live surgeries in laser proctology in national and international conferences. He is currently an executive member of the Association of Colon and Rectal Surgeons of India, Vice President of the Punjab Chapter of the Associations of Surgeons of India, as well as the President of the Jalandhar City Chapter of the Associations of Surgeons of India. Welcome to Medical Dialogue, sir. Thank you, Dr. Nandita. Thank you. So, sir, if you can tell us what is proctology or what does the term proctology mean? Uh, basically, you know, Nandita, proctology means uh, the benign anorectal disorders and the four diseases are, uh, diseases are always covered. That is hemorrhoids, fissure in ano, fistula in ano and pineal sinus. So, sir, you have been working in the field of proctology for a really long time now. So, if you could just tell us from your past experience that how actually the diagnosis as well as the management of hemorrhoids particularly has evolved over the last decade. Yeah, basically, you know, I have been working as a general surgeon since last 30 years. But since last 17, uh, 7 years or so, I have adopted, you know, uh, proctology as a career. Uh, the main motive was that uh, this is a field which was uh, totally neglected by the surgeons. Teaching was very less, you know, during our residency days. And uh, uh, to be very honest with you, we did not know how to do those cases related to proctology. And uh, the thing which I stressed upon at that time was minimal invasive proctology. So whatever we are doing today is a part of minimal invasive proctology and lasers is one of them and now people just go for lasers but they do not know what are the indications what are the content indications where laser should be used where it should not be used so the book is aimed basically on uh, to cover all the aspects where uh, these things should be discussed and uh, as far as the hemorrhoids are concerned you know basically the diagnostic tools remain the same but yes, the indications are now different. For example, if a patient comes to you with bleeding per rectum, previously many of us used to think it is a simple case of hemorrhoids. Even the GP level, the problem starts over there because every patient which comes with bleeding per rectum and uh, for them maybe it is just hemorrhoids. But uh, if you go into the details, you will come to know that there are so many uh, conditions which are normally we call as surgeons a differential diagnosis. Uh, so we have to be very sure what sort of disease we are dealing with. And uh, definitely there is a change in the last one decade or so because you know previously sigmoidoscopy was available, a sigmoidoscopy along with the clonoscopy. But you know a simple test which can be done in uh, OPD is just a proctoscopy which has been taught to us since uh, ages you know. And uh, then indications have definitely changed. For example, that uh, as per uh, practice parameters, we always say that any patient who is 50 plus and presents with bleeding per rectum should be subjected to sigmoidoscopy. But any patient who is 40 years plus and gives a family history of colorectal uh, carcinoma, then if uh, 40 plus means complete colonoscopy should be done in such cases. So whenever we are uh, examining any patient, the basic indications of sigmoidoscopy and colonoscopy should always be kept in mind. So as you have rightly mentioned about the stage-wise evolution of the management, so if you can just tell us about these new techniques that have actually come up in the management of hemorrhoids. Uh, okay, Nandita, the best thing which has happened, you know, with me is as an author, I had to read a lot of literature. So when I started digging the literature, uh, there were many interesting facts which came in front. 
now we know about uh, hemorrhoid since so many centuries you know it's uh, right from 5000 years old ayurveda and uh, unani medicines and all but if we talk about allopathy the procedure excisional hemorrhoidectomy was started in 1837 by simon now simon was a person who was the uh, who started st mark's hospital england uh, in england uh, london uh, and uh, now today it is a world class institute then later on his work was published by ellingham who was his student way back in 1888 so gradually from there techniques were slightly modified then milligan morgan came in 1937 and so on miles in between was there in 1919 so gradually you know the procedure remains the same that is excisional hemorrhoidectomy but mm-hmm. the steps or the techniques slightly differed so 1937 onwards still a very you know considered as a gold standard in hemorrhoids it remains the milligan morgan excisional hemorrhoidectomy but after that maybe somewhere in 1959 there was another procedure which was called fergusons that is a closed hemorrhoidectomy so this is the way there was evolution you know in uh, uh, it uh, conservative uh, this thing you know conventional management as we call it that is the excisional hemorrhoidectomy then suddenly after that things changed drastically in 1998 longo came with staplers but just 3 years prior to that there was a minimal invasive procedure by morinaga a japanese surgeon in 1995 who came up with doppler guided hemorrhoidal artery ligation so that was a procedure where no cutting was required when longo came with pph that is a procedure for prolapsed hemorrhoids now the procedure is not bad but everybody started doing it without proper training so it so many complications were created in our country i have seen surgeons performing this procedure very nicely very precisely because they are well trained then later on you know uh, then of course time changed then there was a time for uh, lasers lasers came somewhere in 2009 the first publication was uh, for 2009 for laser hemorrhoidoplasty then after that we uh, you know another procedure is there that is dr chipte's procedure dr chipte is a very famous indian surgeon that is called transcendent suture hemorrhoidopexy and lately in 2014 the latest procedure which many people recommend uh, that is a superior hemorrhoidal artery embolization but that is a procedure meant for only grade 1 and grade 2 hemorrhoids so then we can say lot of evolution has been there over Uh, the centuries or over the years yes sir definitely you've given us a good detail about the evolution in the techniques over the period of time so coming to talk about the book if you could just give us some details about it and actually who is this book intended for this book is basically you know first in the international market now what has happened uh, what i have realized uh, you know uh, when i went for my training uh, uh, you know Uh, to germany way back in 2016 17 now lasers had just picked up but mm-hmm. the right way of doing lasers hardly people knew about it uh, the surgeons you know they hardly knew about it so there were lot many publications which were there uh, you know on the internet people used to read the publications and then they used to start the procedures so there was many things which i never uh, liked about it and there were many things which i liked about it so what we did we compiled the whole data and we compiled our results which we had given in the last 7 years and then we compared so whatever was best for the patients then i tried to compile everything in the procedure form so this is a book which is uh, you know uh, uh, recommended for all the residents who are doing post graduation all the practicing surgeons all the surgeons who are in colorectal surgery or gi surgery and you know anybody who wants to start lasers so i think it's a must read book for all of them uh, i have discussed the complications in detail i have discussed about the case studies then question and answers you know i have been a speaker or a you know a faculty at many institutes so many people used to ask me the questions in conferences and all 
that uh, what will you do in such a particular situation so what i have done i have compiled all the questions and try to answer uh, their queries so i think uh, people are definitely uh, all the my surgical fraternity my colleagues they are going to like this book. any message you would want to give out to our viewers sir the book has already been released and uh, the hard copy is not available still in india but anybody mm-hmm. who wants to take it he can just uh, go to springer uh, you know uh, website and order it from there the hard copy is available in uh, you know uh, germany thank you so much sir for all your valuable insights thanks randita for having me thank you very much that's all for today stay tuned to medical dialogues for latest updates never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon